NBA video game but today, bums. Yeah, we're doing this. I got like two other video ideas in the future because like I found another. See, I might do a follow up following with the the uh, Lopez brothers because I know the other Lopez brother has beef with mascots and like I might do that one on how the Wolves coach got injured because like we really had an injured quote NBA coach before GTA Six. But anyway, let's just do this for now. Uh, if you've seen the title title and like what I've been cheering, you already know what this is about, but whatever. The NBA, where men compete to see who can put the ball in the most into the basket within 48 minutes of play. The NBA also has rivalries. The 60s, you know, Bill Russell's Will, they were chimley. They were rivals on the court, but they were actually homies outside, like secret bases of the on that. And the 80s had Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Some of these rivalries were on the court and off on court and like off court, these players were chilly with each other. Like the two I mentioned were actually chill off the court. The second one is pretty obvious, but the other one you could find it through secret base. But, but you know, some rivalries could not be like contained on the court and continue off the court and to beef. Like that NBA beef has expanded to beyond players versus players. Some older players be beefing with people they never played with against. <clears throat> Shaq. Shaq beats with anyone he thinks could threaten his role or threatens the, the idea of an NBA center in total. Yeah, it's secret base even has a whole doc about Shaq, Shaq beef. Even beef from other players. But I just want to cover a small beef that was just mainly for shits and giggles. You know this one. This one is involved Shaq. To cover Shaq. In fact, this was mainly just like a beef one was inside NBA team day, Shaq Barkley. Bro was a mess in his playing day. Just go on YouTube or read some articles on his line. Bro is crazy. So yeah, he involves the NBA mascot. Like, the Ever Nuggets. Rocky the Mountain Lion. That guy. And according to the internet, this dude is actually kind of rich. Like, bro, when it comes to paychecks, he's making, like, 625 k a year. I think that's the highest for a mascot. So, a mascot lord, this man is rich. Like, oh, no. But, yeah, that's okay. It's some YouTube videos and see the beef. I won't be playing them because uh, the NBA might actually uh, nuke me. Adam Silver might come from me. But, whatever. I, I give you the link in the comments. Let's start with YouTube short summary. And we'll get to that after a quick break. Yeah. Okay, we're back after that break. Yeah, this video basically shows the time of the beef with 1993 when Barkley was on the Suns, and the beef also continued when he was on the Rockets, and it cuts to the jersey saw off of 2023, which I will talk about later. Lakers versus Nuggets. In second quarter, flashback to Rocky being when the Lakers are introduced in their starting lineup. So when the Lakers surround them, and it's Game 3 2008 playoffs between Broly and Neil Kobe. And yeah, Charles must have paid off the Lakers roster. They chose the flashback of Bro beating the shit out of Rocky, bruh. This is a jersey swap. And yeah, this is the recap violence on the court. And they try and do a jersey swap to fix the beef, but Rocky fights back, bruh. Rocky at opening night. And Shaq wants Rocky to beat up Barkley, but Rocky chooses peace despite Shaq's protests. And Barkley's also okay with this, but Bar Rocky proceeds to present a sus picture of some of the crowd, and then he gives Barkley a ring pop, because he, which is he refuses stuff, even though Shaq wants him to do this, because it's Nuggets ring night. Yeah, we don't clearly know whose side Shaq is on, bruh. Shaq, Shaq sees an opening, bruh. It, it's Shaq, what do you expect? Um, four uh, websites online. So, yeah. Yeah, also, the internet is unusable in that block, bro. Basically, every article I tried to read had so many ads, bro. This, gosh. Uh, it's horrible, bro. And you can't even use ad blocks anymore, because you can't use YouTube without... You, you can't use YouTube if you have an ad block. Like, it's crazy, bro. So, this article just goes over some quick stuff for stuff, some of the beefs about Charles Barkley's career in the league. The Sun. Yeah, I just mainly read off the articles. Bro. It's just like a sign if you want to get everything. You don't want to go on like the ad break. Just go here instead. Them ad breaks are cri those ads online are criminal. It shows how Rocky provoked Barkley with a poster question the then Sun star scratch when Denver hosted Phoenix back in the 1990s. The mascot brazenly had a white sheet with a chicken and Chuck's No 34 drawn on the court. Rocky then approached Rocky, who walked on stilts, and brought the yellow mountain line to the ground to blow the head. The other time, the 1993 NBA MVP fooled the mascot by playing shake its hand for saying it tumbling to the floor with a slap. Uh, Rocky tried to get his revenge after Chuck joined the Houston Rockets in 1996. The once welcomed 11-time All-Star with special dunk stunt, leaving through a drawing of the player wearing a Barkley No. 4 jersey and a ballet skirt for hammering the ball down. But after the mascot got out from the mattress, 
If that on Barkley tackled the Nuggets icon, slapped her a few times, they pulled like Dragon Lion onto the hardwood. That the savage shoot is also truck stopping on rockets while the mountain sucker punching the NBA star and running away. And Matka pulled a similar rule on Barkley when it simply came to Baldwin and their beef on Sunday. The two were exchanged high jerseys and signed Peter posing for photos together. Rocky then told Chuck, look away, we're throwing his son's jersey over NBA icon, throwing his own top of the head and punching TNT and NBA TV analysis. They will have a chance to meet at least one more to NBA final seats. Victory game two means the series return to Denver after back to back matchups in Miami. ML UK, Charles Barkley recognized rival Rocky in game two of the NBA finals after repeatedly clashing with Denver Nuggets mascot in the 90s as a player from the Sun and Houston Rockets. All right, we'll be back after a quick break. This show too wild. Okay, we're back. See, on Sunday night, TNT analyst, analyst and the highest paid mask on the NBA, the 625K, man the court ball, we tried an on-sign feud. Barkley gifted his number four son's jersey, well, 34 son's jersey, where Rocky offered his ex forward his retro jacket from the 90s. The pair seemingly bare a decade long hatchet when they shook hands. The things took a twist just moments later when Denver's mascot unexpectedly flying Chuck by throwing both shirt items back in before landing a sucker punch and running away. After that, Barkley threw in Chuck with his chest. His first share of fights and mascots, nothing new. They came back from almost 33 years ago, one of his folks with the Nuggets, Mountain Lion, who's been part of the organization since 1990. Sir Charles seen approaching Rocky Porter start from a regular season game for his son and sons, and later later called him a chicken before as the latter called him a chicken to a drawing he made himself. Barkley made the mask for smack his nemesis off his stills and rejoin his teammates. The resurfaced clip from the nineties, a sixty year old goes over to say held the nuggets mountain line during a timeout for swinging at his fist at it. His last four years NBA as a rocket player nineteen sixty three thousand drama and we round walked up to Rocky, pushing the mask onto the map before punching it from behind. He grabs Mountain Lion and stops him before referee acts as a piece maker between the two. In another bust, though, Rocky squares up to 11 time also wearing a boxing glove with his right hand. One point is back for landing a punch on 993 League MVP. Rocky is currently part of the NBA team and T-Crew as part of NBA Finals. Rocky Lion has is finally making his finals debut with the Nuggets. Prior to Sunday Game 2, Rocky really took hits from Austin Jet Maskey Bronze set, big from Denver's high altitude at 5,280 feet above sea level. Nuggets have been using these lungs during elevation to their advantage for years, especially during the playoffs. Although it didn't work in the latest game against Heat, who they lost to 111 to 108. Let's go. Another site. Uh, I may take screenshots of this, bro. Let's get the light on. Charles Barkley and the Denver Nuggets mascot Rocky the Mountain Lion shared a heartfelt moment after Game 1 of the 20. Of the NBA Finals. Barkley was part of NBA TV for the court of NBA Finals, while Rocky finally made his NBA Finals debut. In a video shared by NBA TV on YouTube, Rocky was caught on camera fooling around trying to take Barkley's bo- bite Barkley's bald head. The Hall of Fame force happy to see his old foe who has been with the, Den- with the Nuggets since 1990. Um, Charles Barkley has a fair share of fights with mascots. And one of his famous foes was Rocky the Mountain Lion. Of course, all mascots by the NBA are scripted, but it's fun to see someone of Barkley's stature back than having fun against Rocky. Who is the man from Rocky the Mountain Lion? Rocky the Mountain Lion is quite possibly the most famous mascot in the NBA. He made his debut back in the 1990s, been a staple during Denver Nuggets game for 30 years. But the Who is Mountain Lion Rocky? The answer is Drake Salmon. He has been wearing a suit for two years. Or the Connor McCormick Cavanaugh Westward, Salmon took over the mantle in 20. 20- 21 when his father can retire with 31 years in a job. Yup, this is generational hating right here. This man has been just generational hate. What the heck? The the family has been beefing with this one man for like years at this point. What the fuck? So yeah, we'll be back after a quick little damn, damn. We're back. Yeah, Ken was a man wearing a Rocky costume from 1990-2021. He's now, and it's become a family affair. First one, Drake inherited Rocky's work. His second son, Cade, is Rocky's minor during games. His third son, Garrett, is Hooper, who is official mascot of the Detroit Pistons. And the reports know that Ken was back across for NBA Finals due to an injury to Drake. And it seems like a real new between Charles, Rocky and Charles Barkley after all. Bruh. Generational hating. And yeah, Rocky's the highest paid mascot in the NBA. As the mas- being an asset for everyone was pretty good to the high salary and average salary in the NBA mascot 30. 60k per year. 
Brock is probably already making the highest paid mask on the league. Bruh. This dude's be this dude's literally in NBA mascot terms a millionaire. What what the freak? Conclude afterwards. Yeah, and according to the sports business Joe Rock is currently earning 625k per year. Harry the Hawk and Land the Hawk came in second 600k. Uh, Chicago is bending the Bulls to 400k per year. And yeah, go on this beefing looking mad. Like, like, dude, generational hate like that. This is like a special type of beef. We won't have this again. Beefing while the mascots get Robert modern every day. Like, I know it was the Lopez, but that was like a long time ago. But we don't have any modern beef like this anymore. And like, he's directly like being the heck out of Rocky to play for fun. Like, if a player from Millie did this today as a fun marketing joke, they would be suspended, fine, forced to attend the management classes. And I'm probably exaggerating, but you know, in the modern NBA, that's where I like it. Like, I know the reason why NBA wants to keep the league clean. <laughs> China. But I wouldn't mind a bit of trolling from now and then. <coughs> Bro, what? It's even fun. Hope inside NBA stays for a longer while so we can continue witness these antics. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I want to do another NBA goofy video like the. LeBron Jordy ones. If you have any suggestions for watching your next NBA basketball, I'd be happy to. See you all, all later in peace. Bye.